Okay, so let's go over this spread. At the heart of the reading, we have the Queen of Cups. So I do feel that a lot of you have come to a new place of um, contentment and self-protection when it comes to your emotional state at this present in time. I do feel that at this point, there's a sense of like having full knowledge or having like partial but not yet full knowledge, whereas the full knowledge is going to come through for you, um, you know, f until the last... I would imagine the last week of the month okay because um with the mercury retrograde happening i do feel that new information new um ideas new insights are coming to light when it comes to um motives ulterior motives or even intentions of those around you so this is something that you want to be uh keep in mind about okay we do have the queen of cups crossed by the eight of swords the eight of swords usually indicates to me that um there is something where you're kind of like kept in the dark about and you don't have full knowledge and full information. However, in this deck, it's different from the traditional deck because um, the subject is not blindfolded. So the subject has partial ideas, but they really can't act on it. So you're kind of um, in a state where you know that somebody is doing something wrong, but you need evidence, you need proof, you need something concrete in order to approach them or in order to confront them with it. So this is something that you're waiting on. And I do feel new information, especially news coming through, is going to be in, um, coming in for you from now until the end of this month, all right? In the past position, what we have is the world, where pretty much um, new insights came through and you don't really know exactly which way to go, okay? The world in reverse also indicates um, restriction in a way where you have to execute or you have to plan things out or you have to basically plan your actions and conduct your affairs within very strict confines, okay? So this is something that has been troublesome in the past with whatever energies, whatever people that you're dealing with. And I do feel that you're working under the mandates and the dictates of somebody else. And the energy coming through for this month is either you're breaking out of your shell and you're trying to do things your own way, which is going to bring a lot more emotional fulfillment, emotional happiness, and also even, um, you know, the I, the the possibilities to even exert your sense of individuality, but also the freedom to conduct projects and move projects ahead in the way that you, you would normally want to. So you're no longer at the mercy of other people's control. In terms of the advice here, we have the Knight of Coins, and this is an Earth sign um, somewhere in your mist, and I do feel that because you're taking more rain, more control in this situation, the advice here is to be slow in taking action, mainly because the rules, the restrictions are put in place for a reason, so it's really important to reassess whether, especially if this is on the work front, how it will affect your work situation, how it will affect those around you. So. In the current position, you are affected by those around you. You're working within their rules, their regulations. However, moving forward, you want to break out of that and you want to do things your own way because ultimately that's going to give you more emotional fulfillment. But the advice here is telling you to take it a little bit slower and um, approach this situation with a little bit more caution, okay? So don't be too hasty. And I, I feel like that's the key word for you, mainly because projects are being stalled as well as your external environment, there's a lot of success happening to those around you and you want to emulate or walk in their footsteps in order to create the success and the traction for yourself. However, it's really important to know that the people got where they were or where they are or, you know, they in the process of getting to where they are, they've had to do a few possibly immoral or even, you know, cut corners on a few projects. So this is something you want to keep in mind, okay? You want to be on the straight and narrow, and you want to do things uh, in a procedurally correct way so that you can mitigate the effects of having to make compromises or having to make uh, cut corners in order to gain the traction or in order to steer things and people in the direction that you want. So keep in mind that success for others might have come at a shortcut and since you weren't there to see what was going on in their situation, you're not, um, you don't really know how they got where they are. So it's really important to keep that in mind, okay? 
and at the same time you have to do whatever is unique to you whatever works for you in the past so don't emulate the success because you don't really know the starting point of the other person's success what they had to do in order to get them from point A to the end goal which is you know that ultimate place of success so the the information is not all filtering through yet so it's important for you not to act not to be too hasty with your executive um, decision making or even you know your ability to execute projects and plans right now okay because information is still a little bit mu muddy and I do feel by the end of this month this lack of information will basically resolve itself okay so you're in a better position to take action by the end of this month in terms of your hopes and fears here we do have the nine of coins which is um, I would say financial lack and this is something that you're fearing you're dreading and you don't know how to prevent this from happening okay and it, I don't feel like it's um playing out in the real world this is just a, a financial insecurity of yours that you it doesn't really have any bearing on the reality of you know all the other cards here we do have the five of coins which indicates like alleviation in the financial department so definitely more money is coming through so the end of financial struggle is going to be over it's also indicating to me you know, in the reverse position, the Four of Pentacles also indicates to me the end of financial struggles and being a little bit more lax and even, you know, having the resources in order for you to be a little bit more lenient when it comes to spending, okay? So you're not going to have to struggle as much and you're not going to have the financial worries weighing heavily on your psyche and preventing you from living the life that you want, okay? So once again, don't take the shortcut that others have taken in order to get where they are. I do feel you have to be very by the book, especially for this point in time, mainly because Mercury in retrograde. If there has been wrongdoings doings on your end, it will actually surface and come to light. If it has been done on uh, from a partner's perspective, I do sense that that information is being revealed to you. So Mercury in re retrograde is notorious for secrets coming out, deeply buried, you know, secrets that have been forgotten about over months and years are actually coming to the fore. So you want to be very careful and act in a very morally an ambiguous way so that you don't have to answer anybody's questions later on okay so keep that in mind at the same time I have the ten of cups here in the reverse position so the way I'm sensing this is this is going to be an important ha half of the month where you are deciding between your sense of emotional fulfillment and money okay so there's this um fine line between how much it is that you realistically need in order to achieve emotional fulfillment and there's a sense of almost um it's almost like having a lot of money is one thing but ultimately it doesn't make the world go round and i know this is a very simplistic way of looking at the situation but what i do sense is in the process of being very cutthroat you know for a lot of you in the process of um achieving an end goal which is you know capital accumulation you might isolate a few people in your midst and you might not be able to achieve that emotional rapport with those around you the way that you'd want okay so that sense of um, isolation but then also isolation from like social um, interaction but also having a lot of money to show for it or you know either having like a robust group of friends but your money situation might be a little bit shaky okay so I ran across a very similar theme with Aquarius where love and money are kind of like um, there's definitely discrepancy in certain times in your life you might have abundance in one but not the other and it, is, it feels like it's a constant juggling act when as to when you can have both okay so this is a month for you to reassess that and to find the balance okay like I said with Aquarius it's not mutually exclusive you can have them both if you manage them and you know achieve both in moderation I feel that that's going to be the theme here okay the only card we're missing here is like the two of pentacles which, which is like the juggling act but um, in terms of on the love front for you, what I do feel is for those of you who are in relationships with um, air signs, okay, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, I do feel that there is going to be a conversation, a very, very important conversation that needs to take place um, for this month. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. I'm sorry, Knight of Swords in the reverse position, which is a very airy um Aries not not 
Aries, airy, airy as in, you know, air signs, energy. So there is definitely conversation that needs to take place. And I do feel that, you know, either from you or from the other party, as to some wrongdoings that is happening in the relationship, there might have been suspicions, there might have been just stall communication from both ends. And no one is really sure how, you know, one another is reacting. No one is really sure what is causing the communication stoppage. And in the past position, we have the world in the reverse position, which indicates to me an energy where both sides are not expressing their feelings with, to one another in a healthy in a candid way, in an open, in an honest way, okay? Because if you look at this card, what I normally feel is like emotional repression, mainly because you have that bunny in case in the bubble and there's that heart beating, but it's not being released and it's not being able to... Um, the bunny is not able to give love to the rest of those around him because he, there's a, a sense of entrapment. So in this situation, what I am sensing here is... Both parties might feel greatly for one another, but there's very little discourse as to, you know, how the relationship can progress. So it's sort of like you're physically together, but emotionally you're drifting apart and everyone is off doing his or her own thing. So this is a situation that needs to be addressed in order for you both to overcome this communication blockage and move forward okay and I do feel that in the love front we have the five of coins which is letting down your barriers letting yourself be vulnerable so that you can discuss these really uncomfortable topics especially if this is a situation that has been you know long in the making especially if for example you have been together for a long time and you feel like the passion is dwindling in the relationship. It's really important to put your defenses down or put your guard down and approach one another with a more open-hearted type of energy, okay? We are coming from Four of Pentacles, which indicates a release. And, you know, stop having to protect your heart chakra. And also the Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Both of these indicates a process of letting go, not feeling burdened, you know, letting things off your chest and expressing how you feel so that you can come to a mutual agreement. Because I do feel that if you're in a relationship and it's been stable and but there's very little passion in the it feels like monotonous. I do sense that um, this situation needs to be addressed. Otherwise, it will continue to devolve. Okay, and at the end of it, I do feel both parties will agree to mutually walk away. If this is a new relationship and you don't know where you stand, it has a lot of potential because the Knight of uh, Coins, it also indicates to me somebody who's very slow to action, but they ultimately do want a good relationship with you. So especially if you're straddling between an air sign and an earth sign. Earth signs are Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo. I do feel that it's going to take some more time for this earth sign to come into the picture, but I do sense that a lot of work, a lot of um, a lot of like concerns when it comes to finances is might be occupying you or your partner's time. So as a result of it, both parties are not feeling, uh, they're both feeling that emotional disconnect in the relationship, okay? So definitely a conversation needs to be had. And I also feel that finances are fine. You don't have anything detrimental in your financial sector. So it would be really important to spend the week and focus on, you know, revamping or cultivating the relationship if it's a new relationship or revamping the relationship if it has been um, if it has been like lacking passion and you know drive okay